believe you know what political parties are because previously you were taught development of political parties in Nigeria and specifically we looked at pre-independence political parties. In this topic, I will be teaching you first and second republic political parties. First, let's consider the nursing objectives. Nursing objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to first discuss political parties, coalition slash alliance system of the First Republic. Also, identify the Second Republic political parties in Nigeria. Discuss the formation and contributions of NPN and UPN respectively. Now let's look at the first Republican political parties, what transpired in the first republic. The first republic was a period that witnessed so many parties coming together to form alliances. First, there was the coalition between the NPC and NCNC, and that was before the Prime Minister Abubakar Tafawa Bandewa asked the AG, that is the Ashon Group, to join in the alliance. Again, by the election of 1964, the party that formed alliance were the AG, NCNC, NEPU, and UMBC. And these parties came together to form an alliance called United Progressive Grand Alliance, OBGA. On the other hand, the NPC, NNDP, the Midwest Democratic Front, the Niger Delta Congress in Eastern Nigeria, and the Dynamic Party also formed the Nigerian National Alliance. So the parties that participated in the 1964 general elections we are just two political parties, two political parties that came together as a result of alliances. So we are OBGA on the one hand and the NNA on the other hand. So these were the two parties that contested the 1964 general elections. Now let's look at the Second Republican political parties. What were the things that transpired within the Second Republic? In the Second Republic, there was FEDECO, Federal Electoral Commission, which was the umpire responsible for registering political parties and conducting the elections. And FEDECO registered five political parties for the 1979 elections. And these parties are the NPN, the UPN, NPP, the GNPP, and PROP. However, for the 1983 general elections, FEDECO registered the NAP, that is Nigeria Advance Party, in 1982, making it six political parties that contested for the 1983 general elections. And let's take a look at these parties, one after the other. Let's look at NPN, the National Party of Nigeria. The National Party of Nigeria, NPN, came up as a result of the defunct NPC, that is the Northern People's Congress. So the presidential candidate of the NPN was Anahaji Shehu Shagari, and he was the one that won the presidential election of the 1979 general elections. Again, other leaders of the parties were Adisa Akinoye, who was the chairman, Ali Mugondo, Dr. K.O. Mbadikwe, and Ondushola Saraki. So these were the persons who were in charge of these political parties called NPN. What were the aims and objectives of NPN as a political party? 
The aims and objectives of the UNPN include housing scheme at urban and rural setting, also to achieve self-reliance through agricultural sector, again to promote respect of the constitution. Now let's look at some of the contributions. Among the various contributions of NPN include that one, NPN was a national party. Two, the party won the 1979 and 1983 presidential elections. Again, the party produced Nigeria's first executive president in the person of Anajishe Ushagabri. Also, it won the governorship, it won governorship elections in seven different states. Again, the party promoted political education and also it provided housing and agricultural program for Nigerians. Now let's look at some feedback questions. Feedback questions. One, highlight the Second Republic political parties in Nigeria. Two, discuss the formation, aims, objectives, and contributions of NPN. Now, if you don't understand these questions, you can watch the video over and over again. Then provide answers to these questions. All right. Now that you have answered these questions, let's look at another political parties within the Second Republic, which is UPN, Unity Party of Nigeria. The UPN was founded by Chief Obafemi Awolowo, and other members of the party were Chief Ajasin, Chief Bona Ige, Professor Ambrose Ali, Chief MCK Aju Nuchuku, and Haji Native Jakande, and so on. Awolowo was the presidential candidate of the party, and the party won governorship elections in five states. Now let's look at some of the aims and objectives of the Unity Party of Nigeria. Aims and objectives of UPN. One, to produce free education at all levels. Two, to pursue free medical services for all. Also, to provide employment for the people and to pursue rural integrated program. So these were the various aims and objectives of the UPN. So let's look at another political party which is the NPP, Nigerian People's Party, NPP. The NPP, that is the Nigerian People's Party, was founded by Anahaji Ibrahim Waziri and other members of the party include Chief Adenira Ogunsoya, who was the chairman, Dr. Obi Wandi, Chief Jim Uwombodo, and Chief Sam Mbakwe. However, Dr. Inam Diazikiwe joined the party later on and became the presidential candidate of the NPP. The NPP won gubernatorial elections in Imo State, Anambra, and Plateau. However, the founder, Ibrahim Waziri, got angry due to some misunderstanding and quarrels over, who, over the presidential and chairmanship positions, that is, who to be the flag bearer in the presidential race and who to become the chairman of the party. That got him angry and he left the party. What were the aims and objectives of the MPP? Aims and objectives. The aims and objectives of NPP include to promote the unity, sovereignty, and territorial integrity of Nigeria, again to promote the rights of individuals through the rule of law, and also for better standard of living by providing shelters and food, and also to promote self-reliant economy. Now let's look at the Great Nigerian People's Party the Great Nigeria People's Party, GNPP.
Of course, you can see the picture of Alaji Ibrahim Waziri. He was the founder of Great Nigeria People's Party, GNPP. After he had quarrel with the members of NPP, so he left the NPP and formed GNPP and became the party leader and as well as the presidential candidate. The GNPP won two states, and these states were the they are Borno and Gongonda. Gongonda state is now divided into two Taraba and Adamawa. It used to be Gongonda state. Now let's look at another political party, which is the PROP, People's Redemption Party. The People's Redemption Party, you can see their logo, PROP, was formed by Manam Aminu Kanu. He was both the national chairman of the PROP and also the presidential candidate. PROP won two states in the gubernatorial elections, and they were Kanu and Kaduna. The Kaduna, of course, we can always remember Banare Be Musa, who had issues with the legislature and couldn't form his cabinet. So let's look at another political party, which is Nigeria Advance Party, NAP. The Nigeria Advance Party, NAP, was founded by Mr. Tunji, and the party was only registered after the 1979 elections. So the party didn't participate in 1979 elections, it only participated in the 1983 elections. And unfortunately, the party didn't win any election at all. It didn't win any state. It only contested in the 1983 elections. So let's look at uh, some of the assignments that you have. Assignments. For your assignment, name the political parties that participated in the 1979 general elections in Nigeria. And two, what were some of the contributions of the National Party of Nigeria? Do this assignment in your notes and ensure that you study ahead. Until we meet again in our next class, do have a wonderful time to yourself. Goodbye.